In this lesson, I'll demonstrate how to work with retention policies and tags. So let's get started. Let me navigate to my admin category here and bring up my Exchange Admin Center by clicking on the Exchange option. And once I'm within my Exchange Admin Center, I can simply navigate to the Compliance Management from the left navigation pane or below the Compliance Management category, I can directly go to the Retention Policies and Retention Tags. So either way, both of these options will take you to the same place. So let's first explore the retention policies. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the retention policies, which takes me to the retention policies page. And this is where we can create a new group, for instance, and then apply tags to those groups so that users can easily use those tags when working with their mailboxes, for instance. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate both. Uh, at this point, I'm going to start off with creating a retention policy and then we'll move towards retention tags. So let's go ahead and create a new policy. By the way, the default MRM policy has the following retention tags that you can see. It's a one month delete, one week delete, one year delete, and so forth. Okay, so there are lots of tags that are part of the default policy. But let's say in our e-discovery setting, we need to create our own document retention policies. These policies could be different based on each case, okay, or each e-discovery set, or each client, for instance, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign, and this brings up the new retention policy window, and we need to specify a name here. So we'll say something like document review retention policy, and then right below the name, I have the option to add retention tags. Okay, so let's click on the plus sign next to retention tags, and this brings up the retention tags window. And I have several options that I can choose from. For example, if I'm creating a retention policy that stipulates a one week delete option, then I can simply select this option. And on the right side, it gives me a little detail of what this means. One week delete simply means it's a seven day retention period, and after that, it will be deleted however it will be temporarily recoverable okay so this is what the option one week delete would do if I were to select a six month delete for instance or 180 days it will do the same thing and after retention period it will delete however it will be temporarily recoverable as well or I can select junk mail never delete and so forth and once you're creating a policy notice I'm given with a default set of retention tags. Yes, of course, we can always create our own tags, and I'll demonstrate next, but first, we are interested in creating a simple policy here. So my new policy for the document review retention policy, I'm going to say, let's say hold the documents for a year. So it's 365 day retention policy that I'm creating. I'd select the option, click add, and I can add multiple also. So for example, if I need to also say the junk email, for example, is for 30 days, I can add that as well. But for our document review policy, really, we just want to keep the documents for one year, and then we would like to delete them. But they still will be recoverable. And also recall that if a mailbox has a, has a hold place on it, then even though the user deletes the email, Exchange will still keep those, okay? So we don't have to worry about those anymore that if you delete certain emails or documents or attachments, they're not gone forever as long as there's an in-place hold. All right, so we added one year delete. We click OK. And just a note here that it tells you that adding or removing retention tags, if new tags are applied, the next time the MRM assistant processes the mailbox. So it just takes a while, whether you're working with Exchange Server or SharePoint Server, to synchronize and make sure things are updated and refreshed so click save and this simply creates a simple document review retention policy and this policy contains only one retention tag which is one year delete all right great next let's move to the retention tags here once i click on retention tags it takes me to the page where i can see the default tags already been created 
if I need to create my own retention tag. Let's say your company policy says keep all the Falcon discovery documents or related documents to that particular e-discovery case. Keep them for eight days. Okay, now the option of eight days is not listed as part of our default. So we can create one by clicking on the plus sign here. Three options are given, whether I can apply automatically to the entire mailbox, which is by default, can be applied to a default folder, or applied by users to items and folders as well, and that's personal, okay? So by default, we will choose the retention tag to be applied to every mailbox. Click on this first option, brings up the new tag applied window. We need to give this tag a name, so we will call it 8 day delete. The retention actions provides three options, delete and allow recovery, permanently delete or move to archive. And if we choose the delete and allow recovery, so the items will be deleted, but we can always bring them back from the database. If we choose the permanently delete option, then it purges the item from the mailbox database completely. And the move to archive moves the item to the user's archive mailbox if it exists. And if it does not exist, then nothing happens. So no action is taken. So you have to know the differences between these three options. So we will choose delete and allow recovery because this is the safest. Even though the user deletes the email, for example, we can always recover it. And the retention period is either never or when the item reaches the following age in days. So in this instance, we're going to say never. But just a note that the item can have both archive and delete tags applied as well okay so we don't need to worry about this is pretty flexible so at this point we'll say never and then we'll click save and let's see here's the here it is it's eight day delete it's a default type retention period is unlimited and then the retention action is delete now this obviously can be applied to our retention policies so let me switch back to our retention policy so here's the one that we created earlier, document review retention policy. Let's say we need to edit this policy and apply the eight day tag to this policy as well. So simply select your existing policy, go up to the edit option. This brings up the document review retention policy page and we can simply add the retention tag one more time. Select the eight day delete. That's the one we just created. Click add and click OK. And notice two tags are being added to this policy now. So one year delete and then the eight day delete. Click save and your policies are updated. If you don't see it on the list, simply refresh it and Exchange will automatically refresh the policies. So another powerful way within the compliance management area in Exchange Server where you can set retention policies and create numerous tags based on your own organizational requirements. So I hope this helps practice and let's move to our next lesson.